you realize we didn't use a condom. I never thought about it. Can you imagine if I'd gotten pregnant? We would have gotten married. Can you imagine you and me pregnant and married? Hmm. Why not? Maybe it would have worked. Not with my track record. You never know. We would have been married for like 40 years. Your parents wouldn't have been very happy. Ah, uh, so what? Mm. So you wouldn't have worked for your father-in-law. Maybe I wouldn't have been a lawyer at all. Maybe I would have been a jazz musician. You? Martha Graham. Mm. I wanted to be a dancer, remember? Yep. I started training seriously in high school. And then I kept up when I went to NYU. You went to NYU? Wow. I don't think the Minnesota quota had been fulfilled. <laughs> My grades certainly weren't there. Trapezoids. Right. Yeah. Martha Graham was my idol. I started training seriously. And then I went to grad school in Columbia. And I used to take this class on the Lower East Side at like 6 in the morning. It was cold. On East 35th Street and Avenue B. And that neighborhood at the time was a total slum. You took your life in your hands just walking through it. And then I'd take the subway uptown to Columbia, sit in lectures all day about Freud and Jung. And my mind would just drift away dancing. I was still in that studio on East 35th Street. Life happened. Coursework started building up and I started falling behind. And so then I'd skip a class and then two and then a week. And then I broke my leg skiing. That laid me up for six months. And it was, I just started training again and trying to train. And that's when I met Brandon, the actor. And he said, I was wasting my time. That if I wanted to be a dancer, I should have started when I was seven years old and that I was too late. I was 24. And too old to be a dancer. And I believed him. You shouldn't have. Think so? Yeah. 